BYD is about to unveil a new technology. No one is talking about it. It's pretty shocking to me, to be honest, considering just how revolutionary this technology is, just what it's doing, or what it's about to do for Tesla, what it's going to do for BYD, well, it'll be the same. Crazy cost advantages, huge improvements to their cars, and the ability to use less batteries and get the same range. Now, BYD is about to release the new BYD seal. This vehicle will be a Tesla Model 3 competitor. It's going to have this new technology before it actually even comes to Tesla vehicles. Crazy. channel on the electric viking great to meet you thank you for tuning in hope you had an awesome day and thank you to all the new subscribers welcome welcome everyone else i've been going on about byd for a long time we now know that contrary to the clickbait you're seeing on youtube claiming byd doesn't make money from electric cars it's it's a, it's a house of cards they're about to collapse that's not in fact true at all in fact byd does make a profit selling evs that profit is soon going to be a lot higher. It's going to increase significantly. One of the key reasons for that is economies of scale. The more you make, well, the more efficiently, the more cost efficiently you can produce those cars. That's the exact position BYD is in right now. Of course, it's the same position Tesla is in as well. However, BYD are about to unveil, they've already unveiled, but they're about to unveil new technology that's going to be going into the new BYD seal. The BYD seal it's an electric car, very similar in size, slightly bigger than Tesla Model 3, but it has BYD's blade battery technology and it's quite a bit cheaper than the Tesla Model 3. How can BYD do this? Well, they manufacture pretty much everything in-house. Now, people say that Tesla are vertically integrated and they are a lot more so than their competitors like Toyota, like Volkswagen, etc. Much more vertically integrated than those guys. But in comparison to BYD, no. BYD is much more vertically integrated than Tesla are. They make everything, not everything, but almost everything that goes into the car is manufactured by BYD. This gives them some pretty significant cost advantages because everything is made in China by themselves. They're not paying any margins, any markups on any of these products. Now, BYD has shown the new seal a few times over the last couple of months. And the company has just shared this crucial information that nobody has picked up on. I mean, honestly, no one. I've Googled this. There's no YouTube videos. There's nothing, nothing about this at all. The new BYD seal will have BYD's CTB technology, cell to body. They're announcing on May the 20th exactly what that technology is. Uh, pretty clear. It's pretty clear what it is, right? It's pretty clear that it's structural battery pack system, very similar to what Tesla is doing and to what Leap Motor is doing. The entire industry in China now is trying to move to using structural packs. In fact, they're copying Tesla in lots of ways. Another way they're copying Tesla is trying to use gigacast things, right? Single, one piece, die cast, large pieces in order to increase structural rigidity, reduce weight, make less parts. For example, Tesla says that using their structural battery pack and their gigacast things for the car, they're going to save the use of 370 parts. That's going to become only three. That's crazy. Now, BYD hasn't specified exactly what this technology is, but it's pretty clear from, from the name of that technology that it's going to be their competitor to Tesla's structural battery packs. And it means we think that it's going to come in BYD's new seal. Seeing as that's their brand new model, it would make sense that once they launch this model on the same day they're announcing what this technology is, they're going to say that this new car has this new technology. In China, people perceive this new BYD seal as being a direct competitor to the Tesla Model 3. They don't, they don't, people used to see BYD as being this inferior brand and, you know, it was like cheap Chinese stuff. They don't anymore. People perceive now BYD as being, well, a good quality product. The product speaks for itself, right? CNNPost.com reported that information released by China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology says that BYD seal is 4.8 meters long, 4,800 millimeters, 1,875 millimeters wide, 
and 1,460 millimeters high, and it has a wheelbase of 2,920 millimeters. Very, very similar, just slightly bigger to the Tesla Model 3. Tesla Model 3 length is, one, is 4,694 millimeters, 1,850 millimeters wide, and 1,443 millimeters high. Wheelbase, 2,875 millimeters. So you can see the wheelbase of the two cars is very similar. What about price? How will the Model 3 compare to the BYD Seal? Well, yeah, pretty big difference. Model 3 is currently offered in two versions in China. Entry level price is 279,900 or 41,200 US dollars. Delivery date, 20 to 24 weeks. So you gotta wait half a year. The performance version costs 368,000 RMB which is closer to just over $60,000. Expected delivery for that version is around 20 weeks. Reports say the BYD Seal will likely have a price, a starting price of RMB 220,000, which is 33,570 US dollars, which is awesome news because this BYD Seal, not just gonna be sold in China, coming to Australia, coming to Europe, it's coming to the UK. It's probably coming to lots of Latin American countries as well, where BYD sell their cars as well. I don't know about the US. I don't know about Canada. I would assume Canada. I'm not so sure about the US. But my point here is that's a pretty big difference, right? 33500 versus 42000 US dollars. That's, uh, you know, that's about 8000 US dollars difference in price. The SEAL is going to be available in three different versions. Standard range model will come with a 150 kilowatt rear electric motor, a range of 550 kilometers. That's CLTC though. We don't know what the range would be on like an NEDC cycle. The long range version will come with a 230 kilowatt rear motor and a maximum range of 700 kilometers. The top of the line four wheel drive version though, will have total front and rear motor power of 390 kilowatt, giving it a range of 650 kilometers and an acceleration speed of 3.8 seconds from zero to 100. So it's gonna be a, a very, very good competitor for Tesla's Model 3 performance. And it's gonna be quite a bit cheaper. Now, right now, BYD have one, one big problem. It's the same problem Tesla have. That is, they have tens of thousands of pre-orders. People are waiting a long time. I'm guessing the same issue will arise for the BYD seal. However, BYD are much faster at building battery factories, much faster at building car factories than any legacy auto company on the face of planet Earth. Even if you think, oh, well, well, well Toyota, they've been doing this for years. Well, GM, they've been doing this for a, a century. I'm sorry, but look at the information I released on this channel. You'll see BYD is much faster at getting these production facilities online. Why? It's in China. They don't have to wait for 19 years to get airports approved. It happens within a month. I mean, it's very, very fast in China. Why? The Chinese government want, they want what? The last vestige of manufacturing. What is the last vestige of manufacturing? Automotive. Automotive is all that is left. It's the only area that China don't dominate. Well, that will change very soon. Already, BYD is the second largest manufacturer of electric cars in the world. It's overtaken Volkswagen, and I highly doubt Volkswagen has any chance in hell of catching back up. The SEAL is expected to be the most important model in the history of BYD. Said BYD themselves, adding that with reference to Model 3 sales, they expect the model's steady state monthly sales to exceed 30,000 units quickly. They want to ramp up, they want to succeed, and they want to dominate. And frankly, if I was Legacy Auto, I would be absolutely petrified of what BYD is doing right now. Thank you for watching, my friends. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.